So, here we go. Here's a simple sketch that I turned into this nice animation, created with Quen Image Edit, WAN 2.2, first last frame, and a few free tools. Now let me show you how you can do this yourself, step by step, from start to finish. It all began with a simple UFO sketch on a plain sheet of paper. I took a picture with my phone and moved it to my computer. I used PhotoP, a free online photo editor, to cut out UFO from the sketch. Place it on a blank 1920 by 1080 image. Resize it to the proportions I wanted. And position it exactly where I preferred. That became the base image for creating my final UFO image. To create the final UFO image, I used Quen Image Edit 2509. I uploaded both the sketch and the background image, then experimented with different settings to shape the UFO to match the vision I had in my mind. For example, I started with creating a prompt describing what I want, and a negative prompt describing what I don't want. Then I used Lightning LoRa to speed up the generations. And for the settings I used Random Seed, 4 Steps, CFG, 1.0, Euler, and Denoise 0.80. In this first test the result looked too close to the original sketch. So for the next test I kept everything the same but changed Denoise from 0.80 to 0.85 and created an image that was closer to what I wanted but still not quite there. After a few more adjustments with Denoise, CFG, and Seed, I finally got the perfect result with Denoise 0.81, CFG 1.2, and Fix Seed. That image became my final UFO, ready for animation. The next step was to isolate the UFO from the background so I can manipulate the UFO's size and position. I used Adobe Express, a free online image editor for this, but you can use any other tool you like. Now that I had the UFO isolated in a separate layer, I imported the background again and created three images of my UFO in different positions. First image, UFO in normal horizontal position, which will be the starting frame in my animation. Second image, which will show a tilted UFO so I can get that tilting UFO motion. And third image, a small, almost vertical UFO in the top left corner, which will create the UFO flying away motion. After this was done, the only thing left was to upload the images into WAN 2.2, first last frame workflow, and run it. For the tilting motion, I used the first image as the first frame and the second image as the last frame. For the flying away motion, I used the second image as the first frame and the third image as the last frame. Now that you've watched the whole thing, it would be nice if you subscribed, liked, or shared the video, or maybe even left a comment. Thank you.